but this is actually the incorrect lane choice. We need to be going straight through. Let's see if it does correct itself. And it does correct back over. Hey everyone, Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And we are going to be testing FSD Supervised 12.5.4.1. This is not the latest and greatest, and this is not the latest and greatest Tesla. This is a 2018 Model 3, and you can see that I'm in drive right now, and the steering wheel is illuminating. I have a destination point set, so literally just imagine I got into the car, I put my destination in, or I sent it to the car from my phone, and all I have to do is put the car in drive and pull down on the stock. And it'll put the left blinker on and start to pull away from the curb. A little bit hesitant but we're gonna run through this FSD version here because this is not the latest and greatest FSD a lot of people are running 12.5.6 and this is a previous version to that do have some cross traffic here turn signal comes on from this other car right over here and the Tesla does go out and then makes a left turn very confidently I'm gonna put it into average just right in the middle Transitioning over in the left turn lane, it's going to come to a full stop and then creep forward. Now, not only with this software do I not have to touch the steering wheel, I only have to pay attention because it does use the interior camera to look at my eyeballs to make sure that I am supervising the FSD. Transitioning over, following these vehicles now into this left-hand turn lane. Very smooth. Previous versions of the FSD were a little bit jerky back there. This is a little bit awkward here with this large open space in the middle at this intersection because this these two lanes are going to go straight through eventually once construction is complete. But very smooth by this older FSD. Green arrow comes up here. We're gonna make a left-hand turn. Left turn signal is already on, you can see. Again, it's just watching my eyes. There is no more shimmy shake on the steering wheel unless you're not paying attention to the road. Transitioning over here into the right-hand lane following this vehicle. And very smooth here. I do like how it is not in nanny mode going under the speed limit. It is 45 miles an hour. It's going 46, 47 miles per hour, which is perfect for this type of road. Left turn signal does come on. It does want to get back over. Now we are in average, and I would say that was an aggressive move. It was passing a slower vehicle on the right-hand side. so. I don't know if those average assertive and all that is calculated in yet. So this is actually the incorrect lane choice. We need to be going straight through. Let's see if it does correct itself. And it does correct back over and realize that it was in a turn, right turn lane and it needed to get back over. So it did have an error and then was able to quickly adjust itself, which is really nice to see. Great job by the FSD supervised. Now, something to note here, our lane is going to be a right turn only lane and it does need to transition over. So it'll be interesting to see if it either speeds up or slows down behind this white car here. Green arrow. So it does look like it's speeding up. We do need to transition over. Left turn signal does come on and it does pretty aggressively go in front of that car and now gets it back over again doesn't slam on the brakes, does a fantastic job. It's gonna to come to a full stop here. That was exactly like a human driver. That felt so natural, like, oops, I'm in a right turn only lane and I need to transition over. Great job by the FSD. Excellent right turn as well. And just super smooth. Left turn coming up here, should transition over into the left turn lane. Perfect, excellent job and it's gonna navigate this left-hand turn here. 
very smooth. Absolutely no jerkiness, no phantom braking at all is what I'm experiencing on this ride. It is expertly smooth. So now we're coming up here to this park which it did miss the turn you can see by this navigation here so it looks like it's going to go back around and let's see if it does uh, make that left hand turn i just randomly put in a park that's close by my house just to show you guys how well this fsd supervise is performing and although it did just miss the turn there which is most unfortunate it was able to correct itself and now i'm really curious to see if it is able to make that left turn into the parking lot Full stop here, right arrow, right uh, turn signal comes on. No cross traffic, making that right turn very smooth. Full stop here, no cross traffic. Very smooth right hand turn and accelerating out of the turn, just so smooth, feels so natural. Now this is a little bit of a hidden left turn. Let's see if it learned anything from missing it this first time. It is right on this curve. We have to go right that way. Oh, and it did catch it that time. So great job by the FSD. And it did transition into this parking lot and it did end up at the right spot here this little ballot drop box which is actually in a circle so it's going to navigate around the circle besides missing this parking lot turn it did an excellent job a little bit back and forth there but completes the entire circle And now it's determined that it's going to stop here, potentially, or go out. But as you can see, absolutely zero interventions needed. It did take me to my destination. It did miss this parking lot just a hair before it did end up stopping. Kind of a weird location. It's not a storefront or a typical address. So it is gonna keep driving, but as you can see, the FSD beta, and again, this is like two versions old now from what other uh, public FSD beta testers are running and it is doing a fantastic job. So it looks like it's going to make that loop again, still going to the same destination. But if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Feel free to share this with any of your friends who are doubting the Tesla's FSD supervised and its ability to go unsupervised. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.